Good day everyone, my name is Arslan and uh, long time no see. <laughs> so I haven't posted for a while. Anyways, let's get started. Today we have another uh, short and an interesting video regarding parameters inside Revit. We have uh, a residential project that I'm currently working on. It's a, a G plus one or, a, or simply a two story house. We have the stairs shaft, shaft on the top left side and uh, the main front door. And uh, we even need a back door, but I haven't made that until now. And this is going to be the, the parking area. And this is the main boundary. And we have a swimming pool on the front. So I think an, a best explanation for parameters would be their, their properties or, you know, their characteristics or aspects of an object or an element that we make inside our software. So, for example, if we have this wall right here and I select it, so these are the parameters of this wall or the characteristics or the properties of this wall and they're called the parameters inside Revit. And uh, you know within parameters we generally have two main types. So one is the instance parameters and the other one are the type parameters. We select this. These are the instance parameters of this element that I've made. And, uh, you know, instance parameters, they are specified to an object, while type parameters are specified to a family. For example, if we click on this, and uh, we have this mark right here. So the mark of this is 2, 1. Or let's, for now, let's just set it to left side. And, you know, so left side and mark, this is the the instance parameter of this wall and uh, it's specified to this object and for example if we click on this and uh, so now again if we enter another you know, for example let's say backside so backside and uh, left side both of them are instance parameters and uh, they're not specific or specified to uh, you know a particular family but if we select this and we go to edit type, these are the type properties of an object and uh, they're specified to a family, right? You know, in this case, for example, we have a type mark and uh, if we write uh, M20 concrete, which is the minimum grade of concrete for RCC structures. So now M20 is the the type parameter of this family. If we have uh, entered M20 for this family, then if we go to, if we, if we select this, and we again go to edit type, so even this one is M20. So now I think uh, whatever I've said now is gonna make sense. So type properties are specified to a family while instance properties which are on the left side are specified to an object. So M20, both of them are uh, both of them have a type parameter of m20 you know both of them are m20 if we select this and if we select this again if you go to edit type so both of them are m20 so that's the main difference between type mark and then mark right here right so both of them are m20 concrete but if we select this so its instance parameter is left side and then if we uh, select that its instance parameter is back side so these are the, the instance parameters on the left side and the type parameters of this family are, you can access it through the edit type. And um, again, if you, wanna, if you wanna check out the parameters or uh, if you wanna make new ones, you can do it through manage and project parameters. Let's uh, go to add. And then again, within the parameters, we have project parameters and we have shared parameters. This is another big difference between the parameters that we make, that the user makes inside the software. So project uh, parameters are, you know, they're only for this project. They're only made for this project. And shared parameters, they can be shared by different objects, by different projects. So any project parameter that, that you make, you won't see that in any other project. But any shared parameter that you make, you would be able to see it in all your projects. Let's make a, a project parameter right now. For example, if we write 
um, the grade of concrete and uh, let's go for instance instead of type let's go for instance so the the discipline would be you know let's go for common it means you can use it in all of the different uh, types of you could say the the objects or different types of structures that we have the electrical and the energy and the infrastructure and architectural and structure and uh, the type of parameter you could set whatever values you want to put inside so for the grade of concrete i think uh, text would be okay similarly for the group parameter under so these are the groups on the left side as you can see so let's set it to for example let's um, set it to identity data so here's your identity data and um, this is the the edit tool tip whatever descriptions you want to give so for grade of uh, concrete it um, it for example denotes the uh, grade of concrete used uh, on site it can be um, all right let's uh, you know this is more than enough and then on the right side we have um, whatever categories you want to involve inside this parameter so at the moment let's select architecture structure and let's check all so here we go we have made a grade of concrete parameter which denotes the grades of concrete used on site so in this case it is a, a wall let's go for m20 and uh, remember this is an instance parameter so it's not specified to and uh, to a family it's you know it can be different for different objects and then if you go to the parapet wall which is usually one meters and in this case you can even go for m15 because it has no loads above it uh, it doesn't have any structural importance in this uh, structure because it has no loads to bear above it I hope you guys are understanding my point so for this we set it to M20 which is the minimum grade for RCC works in this case let's set it to M15 and 15 is not okay but only for the sake of this video so now we have made another uh, instance parameter which is M20 and in this case it is M15 and the mark for this is Mumty wall 2 and the mark for this is left side which I said at the start so I hope you guys understood uh, the difference between shared and uh, normal parameters and what is the difference between uh, instance and type parameters inside Revit program if you want to talk about the shared parameters so we can even do that let's go you know manage to and shared parameters let's create a shared parameters so the first thing you do is you have to make a new group let's uh, make a new group let's just name it as steel rebars so this is a new group that we have made which is uh, steel rebars and now we make uh, a shared parameter so new and uh, the first thing is the dia of bars uh, so the discipline would be common again and uh, it would be let's set it to a number and let's just press ok so now we have made a shared parameter and uh, we can even make a new one and all of these shared parameters would fall under the group of steel rebars so the first one was a diameter of bars let's set it to the grade of steel rebars and uh, again let's uh, give it text this time so as you can see I've made two shared parameters and they fall under the group of rebars so we'll press OK and then uh, let's again go to project parameters let's add a new one and in this case click this and from here let's go to select and now let's select whatever we have made previously so this is the diameter of bars so these are the groups that I've created so okay and um, group parameters under let's um, just for this video let's set it to data and uh, let's check all for architectural and structure let's press okay let's go to data on the left side and uh, as you can see on this side we have made a shared parameter 
So for example, now if you click uh, this wall to wealth mm, the more we move uh, above the structure, the the size of the bars can decrease because the less the load it would have to bear. And in this case, let's set it to 14 mm. So this one has uh, a shared parameter of 14 mm, the diameter of bars. And uh, this wall, it has 12 mm. And uh, in this case, we have 10 mm. So these are parameters, right? Okay, so I hope you guys, uh, you know, I hope you have cleared the concept of parameters inside Revit. I've tried to explain it in as simple words as possible. So as you can see, I've made parameters in front of you guys. And uh, so these are, you know, shared parameters, which every project inside this program is going to have. And uh, the, the other one, the, the project parameters or, you know, these, these parameters, they're only specific to this project. And uh, within parameters, we have the instance parameters and the type. So the type ones are right here, which are specific to a family. And the instance parameters, which are on the left side, are specific to an object. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video and I hope you learned something from it. So make sure to stay with us for more short and interesting videos. And uh, do subscribe to my channel for civil engineering and 2D, 3D design videos.